Tomo News presents Concept Cars. Honda draws on robot expertise to help motorcyclists balance. Auto giant Honda has unveiled a well balanced piece of motorcycle tech designed to help riders stay in the saddle at low speeds. The riding assist concept bike has an adjustable front fork that assumes a wider angle to increase stability. The fork has its own motor attached to the front wheel. As anyone who's ever tried to maneuver a big bike out of a parking lot at low speeds knows, keeping your balance at two or three miles an hour is one of the trickiest aspects of riding. And all, would you look at that? Seems like Honda decided to create a futuristic pet motorcycle while they were at it. The bike was revealed earlier this week at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. Although there's no plans to bring it to market soon, the concept bike shows how Honda's investment in robotics can have spin off benefits for its vehicles. The technology behind the riding assist bike was honed in the development of both Honda's humanoid Asimo robot and Unicub scooter. The Unicub is seen here in the band OK Go's stunningly choreographed video for I Won't Let You Down. Personal robots like Asimo are likely still a decade away from being ready to be sold to consumers. However, the legacy technology from the development of Asimo and the Unicub could help bring real improvements to Honda's vehicles much sooner than that. Technology like this could mean that in the future, no motorcycle owner will ever drop their precious ride again. Well, at least at those wobbly low speeds anyway. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see Traffic Jam Autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. Kia SUV gets fitted with tank treads. Kia modified one of its SUVs in a big way recently. How so? They flipped the front seats backwards and supplanted the wheels with tank treads. Most cars distribute the vehicle's weight over four wheels. This concept performs well in regular driving scenarios. But when faced with snow, mud, or other difficult terrain, the tires can sink, leaving the vehicle stuck. 
Korean car manufacturer Kia recently unveiled a concept car model of their Sorento line that replaces normal tires with tank treads. Also known as continuous tracks and caterpillar tracks, these distribute weight better over a larger surface than tires, enabling vehicles to traverse difficult terrain. Vehicles such as tanks use continuous tracks to maneuver across desert, mud, and other obstacles. The concept Sorento features an autonomous driving system and can also be controlled via a tablet rather than a regular steering wheel. The vehicle sports suicide-style doors to make getting in and out easier and seating similar to that of a gondola. Pretty cool, huh? The design was unveiled at SEMA 2017 last week in Las Vegas, where it garnered much attention. But because it's a concept car, it remains just that and isn't likely to be in your local car dealer anytime soon. This maglev vehicle also doubles as a living room. A Canadian company has released an innovative idea that expands the concept of self-driving cars into self-driving rooms. Known as Tradica, the self-driving room can be configured to resemble a car interior or an office or other type of room. The Tradica works like a maglev train, with electromagnetism elevating and propelling the cabin. When the Tradica cabin reaches its destination building, ramps are used to elevate it into its slot. The host building will detect the cabin and open the door automatically. The co-development with the Indian Institute of Science is still in its infancy. Whether the concept ever becomes a reality is an open question. Rolls-Royce unveils driverless concept car. Rolls-Royce Motor Cars unveiled its first driverless concept car in London last week. The Rolls-Royce Vision 100 concept car is 5.9 meters in length, longer than a Cadillac Escalade or Kreb Cab pickup. Rolls-Royce claimed the model is zero emission, meaning it could be electric. The driverless car automatically opens its roof and doors for waiting passengers. The luggage compartment in the front of the car slides open automatically on arrival. Despite its length, the car only has one row of seating. The usual steering wheel is replaced by a thin and flexible OLED touchscreen, which uses organic semiconductors to create thin, light-emitting panels. The car features a virtual assistant named Eleanor, which can start the car and bring it to the front of the house before the ride begins. Eleanor also acts as a virtual assistant, offering reminders about meetings, navigation tips and restaurant suggestions. Rolls-Royce said the car's glass roof provides privacy while allowing passengers to contemplate the majesty of the stars. Upon reaching the destination, the car's glass roof rises and a step emerges with the projection of a red light for what Rolls-Royce calls a carpet-like experience. Rolls-Royce said the car will be on the market in 2040. BMW unveils its motorcycle of the future. BMW's latest concept motorcycle boasts a self-balancing feature that the company says eliminates the need for protective gear including a helmet. BMW revealed the Motor Rad Vision Next 100 in Santa Monica, California on October 12th as part of celebrations of its 100th birthday. BMW's Motor Rad Vision Next 100 concept bike boasts a self-balancing feature that makes the bike stable both during the ride and at a standstill. What BMW calls a digital companion offers riding information and guidance to the rider. Should the system detect danger, and if no action is taken by the rider, the digital companion will kick in and make the necessary corrective maneuvers. The digital companion appears as a heads-up display in an augmented reality visor paired with the motorcycle. Data enters the rider's field of view when called upon. If the rider looks straight ahead, no information is displayed. The concept includes clothing inspired by muscle cords that actively supports the rider. The clothes are equipped with vibrating elements on the arms and legs that act as indicators should the bike lean too far in one direction. The Motor Rad Vision Next 100 concept design was on display in Los Angeles through October 19th. Car journeys are going to be so much fun in the future. 
tech giant Panasonic has unveiled its futuristic vision for an autonomous car cabin. The Panasonic Autonomous Car Cabin has four seats that can face each other, arranged around a centerpiece interactive digital display system. Each seat has an individual display screen table that allows passengers to map the journey, play games, or read information. The four screens can also combine into a single table with a bigger screen. The interior trim of the cabin is made of plastic smart materials that display information and can change to look like wood, metal, or leather. Augmented reality windows can display information about the car's surroundings, such as landmarks and points of interest. Meanwhile, each seat has a personal audio zone, with speakers integrated into the headrests. Facial recognition technology identifies the driver and will only permit registered drivers to take control of the vehicle. Should the driver choose to take the wheel, an eight-camera system feeds into an augmented reality display in the windshield to aid navigation. Panasonic's design was revealed at tech trade show CES 2017 in Las Vegas. According to the company, the plans are still a work in progress. But Panasonic hopes the concept will give people an idea of what the autonomous car of the future might look like. Future luxury apartments could have balconies big enough for personal flying cars. Ever wondered what life would be like when flying cars become an everyday mode of transport? Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and Indian industrial designer Ashish Tolkar hope to one day develop luxury apartments with landing pads for personal flyers. An imagined luxury apartment aims to help make personal flying vehicles become commonplace. This new kind of residential building would see vertically aligned landing pads accommodate the vehicles. Residents would not necessarily need to own such a vehicle, but could simply order one, much like a taxi or ride-sharing service. When detecting an inbound vehicle, the balcony could prepare for landing by lowering the rail guard automatically. Air traffic control systems would be necessary to keep the city skies orderly and safe. Although the idea is still in its infancy, Bombardier and Tolkar believe it may not be long before we see apartment buildings built to code for personal flyers. Mercedes-Benz launches drone delivery cargo van German automaker Mercedes-Benz has unveiled an electric van equipped with package delivery drones. The Vision Van is an electric vehicle with a range of up to 270 kilometers. Its rooftop serves as a launch and landing pad for Matternet M2 drones, which can carry a package of 4.4 pounds. All packages are scanned and sorted by robots before loading onto the van by a driverless handling vehicle. The van can calculate the ideal delivery routes for the driver, who steers the van using a joystick. The van is equipped with a robotic shelving system that automatically locates and prepares the package for the drone inside the cargo compartment. The drone can be used to deliver packages to destinations that are not accessible to the van or the driver. The system also locates and prepares the package for the driver if it can be manually delivered. The company said it will continue to explore the opportunities of innovative van-related business, therefore it created a new organizational unit called Future Transportation Systems, which involved research teams in Stuttgart, Berlin, and Silicon Valley. This electric bus recharges on the go and has no driver. This concept driverless bus was designed in part by Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and may one day help Canadians get from point A to B just like normal coaches. The driverless bus, named Toboxy, uses silent electric motors. This would be powered by batteries that get energy from power transfer switches fixed to the road. Passengers would be able to order one from their phone or hail a passing Toboxy after first registering with their details and photo. This helps the vehicle recognize their face. The bus then computes the best route for the passenger's destination, factoring in other options from the local transportation network. The vehicle can ferry a maximum of a dozen passengers, including two wheelchairs. It has angled walls so people can half sit or lean during their journey. The sleek-looking design was designed by Ashish Tolkar. Nicholas Latandra, who is also working on a new electric bus design at latanda.com, also played a part in developing the Toboxy concept. Ford unveils self-driving van equipped with delivery drones. Ford has introduced its concept for an autonomous van that is able to send out delivery drones at the 2017 Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. 
The Ford Auto Delivery Concept is an electric self-driving van with deployable quadrocopter drones that can pick up and drop off packages at a person's residence. The service starts with a customer placing an order through a mobile application. Packages would then be loaded into compartments on the autonomous van. Next, the auto delivery van would drive to the customer's residence, where he or she could pick up the package from the van. But if the customer needs a package delivered, the package would be moved to the top of the van, where onboard drones would be able to access them. The drones would then fly the package to the residence and drop it off at a designated landing pad. Ford envisions the end-to-end -end delivery service could be used for things such as online shopping orders, weekly groceries, and medical supplies. New car gets facial recognition tech. Fiat Chrysler has unveiled their new electric minivan concept. The vehicle is able to recognize motorists and passengers for a fully customized system. The Chrysler Portal comes equipped with facial recognition technology. A camera behind the steering wheel initially scans the driver and saves his or her user profile. For subsequent trips, an exterior camera identifies the driver walking toward the vehicle and automatically adjusts car settings according to his preferences. The software is reportedly able to recognize drivers even when they modify their look. There's an option to add voice recognition software for added security, as well as extra cameras around the car to recognize and save passenger profiles. The portal was unveiled at the CES Technology Expo in Las Vegas, but has not yet been put into production. Those interested will have to wait until after 2018. Volvo Car Group is getting ready to unveil an autonomous self-parking car. The driver of the self-parking car would use a smartphone app to command the vehicle to park. The car would recognize its surroundings using built-in cameras and sensors. If an object gets in the way, the vehicle would react accordingly before finishing its command. Volvo has a record of being an early adopter of new safety technology and invented the now ubiquitous three-point seatbelt.